Binge drinking is on the rise among middle-aged Kiwi women. New research has revealed one in five women aged between 40 and 65 is a binge drinker. In this Because It Matters story, national correspondent Amanda Gillies looks at drinking, the hangover and why cutting back can be hard. My one wine was like a bucket. <laughs> Why wouldn't you drink when it's sitting in the supermarket, cheap as chips, and being pushed everywhere as the perfect solution to your problems? Lotta Dan, author wife, mum of three, and an alcoholic. She's just turned 50 and marked 10 years sober. The worst thing of all was just the guilt, you know, waking up every morning, feeling bad about how much I'd had to drink, feeling like I was weak and out of control and just pretty awful about myself. Dan now runs the Living Sober website, helping other Kiwis who struggle with booze. Membership is skyrocketing and she's hearing a lot from middle-aged mums. And the stories are the same. I'm worried about my drinking, but I'm terrified to quit. I'm terrified to live in this world where everyone seems to want to have a drink all the time, to bond and relax and celebrate. How am I going to live if I don't do that? You know, it's scary. One scotch, one bourbon. A new study published in the Australian Drug and Alcohol Review Journal shows about 21% of women aged between 45 and 60 are now drinking at binge drinking levels. That's at least four standard drinks in one sitting. That's nearly double the problem it was 20 years ago. Most groups' alcohol use is going down. This particular population group's alcohol use is going up. A New Zealand report is due out in a few weeks. So why are middle-aged women drinking so much? When did one glass of wine a night become, say, a bottle? Well, according to researchers, it comes down to an increase in stress and lockdown. Women are working, running the house, homeschooling. There are more responsibilities and burdens. Totally understand with the stress, especially with the lockdown. And everyone I know is drinking more. Part of this story is kind of about freedoms really but part of the other story is about coping and stress and we do know especially in the pandemic um, that women have taken on a disproportionate burden of that. But doctors have a warning and it's serious. Look it can have a number of effects. They can be unintentional such as accidents, uh, car crashes, hospital admissions due to falls and things like that. It can have an effect on mental health as well in terms of worsening depression or anxiety over time. And there's actually longer term effects, the effects on, you know, sort of ischemic heart disease, stroke and actually cancer risk. Alcohol is linked to more than 200 diseases and injury conditions. Look, men aren't off the hook here. They still drink and a lot. But women experience alcohol harms more quickly and at lower levels of consumption. But giving up booze or cutting back isn't easy. I found it really tricky to go out and not drink at first. Like, I really had to relearn how to be in social situations. Pregnant mum Claire Robbie is an Auckland yoga and meditation teacher. She used to be the classic Kiwi binge drinker, but after one too many hangovers, gave up the booze for good. And I'd never considered myself an alcoholic. I'd never even considered myself as someone who was dependent on alcohol. But it became really clear really quickly that I had used it in many different ways. She set up No Beers, Who Cares, a social movement where events can now attract up to 200 sober drinkers. All it took was someone to talk openly about their struggles with it and normalise it for people to go, hang on, that's me too. And humans need that connection and understanding that we're the same. Like Claire, Lotta Dan is now a dedicated tea drinker, teetotaler with an open invite to her tea party. We just really support the people who come in there and say, look, I promise you, it is possible to live without it. You're not alone. A lot of us struggle. A lot of us feel bad. And look at us now. We're sober and we're happy. Amanda Gillies, News Hub.